Hey guys, what's up? This is Honorable Agro, and before this video started, I just wanted to reach out to you guys and let you guys know that down in the description you will find a link to a GoFundMe. Now, this GoFundMe is not for me. It's actually for one of my brothers. He was in a, a pretty serious accident, and they're just having some hard times. And, yeah, so I mean, he's doing better than what he was, but he's still pretty bad off. But, I just figured I'd, you know, post this out there and help him get the word out and see if anybody's able to help him. So, any help that anybody can give is amazing and you guys are awesome. But, this is my way of helping him out, is to help him get the word out. So, uh, anything you guys can donate to him, to them would be great. Um, of course it is not required, nothing like that, nothing like, nothing financial is ever required on my channel, you guys know that. And yeah, so, um, hopefully I'll see you guys soon, and enjoy the video. So. Sprint now. Let's try to pick up whatever we can. I'm not going to waste time by breaking stuff down. Only one way to go. some more rose hips back there, but we don't necessarily need them because we actually find them quite often. And I guess we're going to climb it. Finally made it. Alrighty. Man, this plane got messed up. Sure hope Astrid's not in there. Right, another cutscene. You still working with that researcher, doctor? What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and just drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? Uh, I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for 
us. But you don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Will? There must be signs of Astrid around here somewhere. Chapter 2. I figured he would have realized something was up when he was staring straight forward and bright green lights started flashing. Not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Anything over here? Nope. One thing that does bug me is the fact that I cannot jump in this game. Okay. And burn shot. Yeah, we do not want to fall down into the ravine again. Alright, so. Is 29% wet. That is completely frozen. Those are completely frozen. So, as soon as we can, we will get a fire. She definitely going. passed through here. Run for your life. Walking through the snow with a heavy pack can get tiring, but sometimes you just have to run. Escape wildlife, avoid weak ice, or get to shelter faster by sprinting. Keep in mind that sprinting uses up more calories than walking, and your sprint stamina is limited by how restrictive your clothing is. It takes you a little while to recover stam sprint stamina. Use it wisely. Possibly can. Starting to get cold. So I am going to try something. I'm going to try dropping my frozen vest on the ground by a fire to see if that will de-thaw faster than me wearing it. I was not very good, good at this. Aim true and you won't go hungry. You can pick up small stones and use them to stun rabbits. You clip them and throw, throw them to hit a rabbit. Then grab it while it's stunned. If you can kill it, you can eat it. Here, Mr. Barney Barney. Where'd you go? Stump. That's awesome. Pick up as many of these sticks as we can. Someone's been here. 
recently. Could it have been Astro? Okay, let's see if we can get ourselves another round. Two for two, guys. That's awesome. Okay, let's go get that fire started. Yay. It worked. Okay. So let's harvest the money. While we heat up. Bunny. I don't think we're allowed to move from that bunny. 2.9 pounds. He's a fat little bastard. Alright, so. I'm going to drop that red right on fire. So it's wet, let's drop that there. Those are not wet. That's not wet anymore. So let's see. Does so let's wear that. Best is now wearable. It is not wet anymore. The uh, socks are still 10%. Alright, let's get something to drink. food that we eat will make us more thirsty. Alright, we get there, so let's drink some water. Two nine minutes left. Let's have one more. Yay. Mm. 
commandments and not take a torch. We're going to have to do it out. This guy's frozen. Can we place a fire? Let me request it. Alright. I was gonna see if we defy the deer. To see if it would give us more or what, but it does not appear that we can do so. Crouching, yes, I know how to crouch, which is the left control. Each light source has pros and cons. You may need to improvise light sources to see in the dark. You can craft torches out of available materials. Flares provide a one-off light source. Lanterns last longer but use up oil. Darkness hides dangers and also pre prevents you from crafting, repairing your gear, and other actions. Okay, so we, sh we should be able to actually it's just light our torch that we made earlier I would be shocked that this guy is here but I already knew he was resting heals you and saves your progress resting restores lost condition and helps you recover from afflictions you can rest in beds you, f you find as you explore the world a bedroll allows you to rest whenever you like. Remember that resting uses up calories and the hours that pass make you hungry and thirsty. Resting also saves your game. Cool. So right now I am also looking for coal. I know there's a couple, couple pieces in this cave. Too much stuff to carry. Yeah. Whatever it is. Maybe I have to get more stuff to carry. So come up here. Lost in the storm. I left with the others, but the storm turned bad and I couldn't keep up. Some turned back to see if they could wait it out at the old church. I kept going, but I think I took a wrong turn. I'll backtrack in the morning and see if I can find their trail. The letter is signed Alice. Here we are going to. 
so I am, this is going to be cut up guys, because so, it's going to be a longer recording, so I'm going to cut it up, so on some of them, there might not be an intro or an outro, so I'm going to do the best I can to kind of clip them, or not clip them, but cut them in good areas. Turned out pretty well. Let's add that for fuel. Add that for fuel. So I want to. Pick up this venison. So let's eat the peaches. Eat the granola bar. And let's eat the, the last rabbit. Alright, so now. Four hours, twenty-two minutes. So we're going to sleep for four hours, so we don't lose condition. Now the goal on this one is to make it up to where I left off yesterday. So let's take the torch. there wasn't any coal this time. That's alright. <clears throat> Astrid, where did you go? Avoid if you can. Wolves are not dogs, and out here they are very dangerous. They normally avoid humans, but do you want to take a chance? Like most things in nature, wolves are afraid of fire. Campfires, torches, or flares can keep them at bay. Throwing torches or flares might scare them away, but there are no guarantees. In the end, the best way to avoid tangling with wolves is to give them a wide berth. Remember, they are attracted to blood and raw meat. Okay. Right, it's like this. 